Hello guys, I'm Novita Sarisitorus and now I would like to explain you about the first chapter of my mini research entitled The Revisional Affixes Found in Jody Peacock's Novel My Sister's Keeper. But before I explain you further, I would like to say thanks to my lecturer Dr. Eson Ambarita S. Hamhum who helps me to do this mini research and to finish this video. Well, uh, in the first chapter, there are five parts. The first is the background of the study. The second is the problems of the study. The third is the objectives of the study. The fourth is the scope of the study. And the last is the significances of the study. Well, now we go to the first part. It is the background of the study. Well, in mastering English, vocabulary plays a crucial role, and morphology analysis can be helpful to enrich one's vocabulary items. Morphology is study of word formation, the word structure, and the process how the words are formed. In morphology, there are two kinds of morphemes. They are free morphemes and bound morphemes. In this video, I just explain you about one of kinds of bound morphemes. It is derivational affixes. Derivational affixes are prefixes and suffixes where both change the word class and create new words with different meaning but the same classes. So, based on the explanation above, I'm interested in analyzing the revisional affixes in Jody Picoult's novel, My Sister's Keeper. So, based on my explanation above, I formulate two questions for this mini research. The first is How many revisional affixes are used in Jody Picoult's novel, My Sister's Keeper? And the second, what are the categories of derived words found in Jody Pickles novel? As I told you just now, I have two problems of the study. Automatically, I have two objectives of the study too. The first is finding the derivational affixes in Jody Pickles novel, My Sister's Keeper, and finding the categories of derivational word in Jody Picoult's novel, My Sister's Keeper. Well, now we go to the next parts. Uh, it is the four parts of the first chapter. It is the scope of the study. As I told you just now, guys, I will do my mini research by using novel of Jody Picoult. It is my sister's keeper, so I limit the study on the revisional affixes found in Jody Novel too. Well guys, now we are in the last part. It is the significance of the study. So based on my explanation just now, this mini research has two significances. They are theories and practically. Well, in theories, I hope that it can increase your knowledge about the revisional affixes. And in practically, I hope it can be a reference, reference for you guys who want to make a research too. Now we go to chapter 2. It is a review of related literature where in this chapter uh, you will uh, explain uh, your title by supporting a theory. Well, uh, I will uh, explain you five parts. It is morphology, morpheme, types of morphemes, derivational affixes, and types of derivational affixes. All right, now we go to the 2.1. It is morphology. Well, in this part, I will uh, show you some of definition of morphology. 
from some experts like Boyd said that morphology is the subdiscipline of linguistics that deals with such patterns and then Nida said morphology is the study of morphemes and their arrangements in forming words and the last is a three journal said that a morphological process is a process of forming new words by modifying a morpheme or morphemes so uh, in this point i just explain and give definitions about morphology by some experts next is 2.2 it is morpheme so i will show you two definitions of morpheme by two experts the first is three journal that say morphemes can be classified into bound free and zero morphemes and then Gennetti and Adelman stated that morphemes I'm sorry morpheme is a section of word that has an own meaning and effects to the meaning of the word that it's added next is 2.3 it is types of morpheme well according to three journal there are two types of morpheme they are free morpheme and bound morpheme so you can see in my video now we go to 2.4 it is the professional morpheme so in this part i find two expert they are from kin and Cretan. so both of them concluded that there are three types of their professional morphemes they are prefix, suffix, and infix. The last is 2.5. It is types of the professional affixes. So I just show you one expert that explain about types of the professional affixes. He is Francisco Katamba. So you can see that a Katamba explained a prefix, affixes, infixes in detail with the example now we go to the chapter three it is research method so in this chapter there are four parts uh, it is 3.1 there is research design and then point 3.2 source of data and 3.3 the procedure of data collection and the last is 3.4 it is the technique of the data analysis now is 3.1 it is research design so in this part you will uh, write what design do you want to use well uh, in my mini research you can see that i use descriptive qualitative where the definition of descriptive qualitative is a research relates to an observation in collecting the data well then 3.2 it is source of data so uh, i think it's a simple part in the in the chapter 3 because source of data is um, where do you get the data to support your thesis like in my mini research i get the data from novel by john pickles uh, the title is my sister's keeper then is 3.3 it is the procedure of the data collection so in this part you just uh, write the steps uh, how you collect the data like in my mini research i get three steps the first i found a novel entitled my sister's keeper by john pickles and then i read all of the tags and then i find and list the words which contain the professional affixes because uh my title uh, is about uh, professional affixes. The last is uh, 3.4, it is technique of data analysis. So in this part, uh, you will write what technique you use to analyze your data. Well, for example, in my mini research, I use Gripendorf theory. So in this a technique uh, there are four steps it is i'm sorry they are identification classification tabulation and the last is description so for the each 
a definition of the four steps you can watch my video so that you can understand <laughs>